stand up. We're actually doing a winter 2020 niche and indie list just like that. It get cold here. So let's get into that thing. Let's go. Every single day. Uncommon Sense Family Clan, Uncommon Sense here, and we're back again for another top 10. This one is Niche Edition for Winter 2020. Yeah! If you're new to the channel, take a look around at the content, and once you've decided that this is the place that you should be, which I believe it is, I want you to do all three. You want to like, comment, and subscribe. First honorable mention, Kat Von D's Center. I put it here on our niche slash indie list for the simple fact I don't really know where to place Kat Von D. Not necessarily a designer. She doesn't necessarily own the fragrance. So I'm gonna put it in the indie category and an honorable mention. Kat Von D Center is a fragrance that's marketed toward women. Has an amazing atomizer. Has a really dark deep patchouli base that I really enjoy. Kind of comes off just a smidge chocolatey but it's very sultry and sexy. Into that bottle. Seems like something that will be featured on True Blood or Vampire Diary. Second honorable mention, Mermetta Laleva. I know I featured this recently on my leather list, but again, I could not, I couldn't not place it in an honorable mention. I feel like it's perfect for winter, especially being a more indie perfume house. It needed a spot on this list, so. Even if that's in a honorable mention category, Mermetta La Leva has earned its spot. Lemon, leather, vanilla is mostly what you get here. Kind of like a very moist lemon blunt cake with some sweetness, vanilla, some tang, and a little bit of leather. That's what I get from this. Coming up to our number 10 spot. Novitas Parfums Oud Luxuria. Winter time is the perfect time to wear this fragrance. It has a Siage. Oud in this one is a smidge barnyardy. It's one of those fragrances that I think should probably be limited to the cold temperatures. This one covers a lot of ground. For nine spot, we have Dua's Sour Peach. This is a dupe of Tom Ford's Bitter Peach. It gives me a gourmand dessert type of feel. Like peach cobbler, but just a little bit more floral and a little bit more powdery slash dusty. Reminds me of a very high class potpourri. Dig this one though, especially for winter time. I feel like now's the perfect time for this one. I personally probably wouldn't rock this anytime other than in the winter. It feels like this one will do very well as a gourmand-ish type of fragrance. Next up. Ooh, black candy coming in at number eight. This one is extremely sweet, and I feel like the winter time is the perfect time for a gourmand. Licorice, ooh, rose, and musk. That's what I really get from this one. It's very sweet in the opening. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Like gingerbread -y molasses is so decadent and sweet. This one's a little polarizing. I know the ladies do not like this one, but the fellas right. enjoy this one. So this may be one that's a little more geared toward the fellas, especially as a gourmand for winter. Next up, coming in at number seven, Rosace's La Jaquam Coron. Rosace's La Jaquam Coron is very leather. Leather. Leather, 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 leather. Leather, you know what I'm saying? Leather. Very leather for a fragrance compared to Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather. Ugh. Game over. With the shit. Leather with a little bit of fruit in the background that comes later. Strong. Last 
It's gonna sit with you in the winter time. It's gonna cut through the cold. And that's what you need. You need a fragrance for cooler temperatures that's gonna cut through the cold, especially being in Chicago, because it get cold here. Just like that. It get cold here. I know proper English, but I ain't gonna use it right now. Because it be cold up in here. Let's take a beat and cleanse the palette. Got to Next up, in the number six spot, we have lots of Saint Parfumers Timbuktu. This bottle is so freaking heavy. The cap, the bottle, all of that. This is the newer formulation. This is Timbuktu Eau de Toilette. It has notes of mango, incense. It's very dark and sultry. Shout out to Amina for encouraging me to get this one, as well as Paige and Styles. They told me to go ahead and keep it and try for cooler temperatures. I have to agree. Mm, it has a woodiness. It has a mango note, but it's not the sweet mango. It's the tart kind of mango. I love mango, so I would have preferred it to be a little more sweet. However, I feel like I have more than enough gourmand types of fragrances. So this one is a welcome addition to something that's fruity and woody, but without being overly sweet. Wintertime is going to be the perfect time for this. It has a warmth and a dark duskiness to it. Very sexy and understated. I'm going to be rocking the hell out of this for wintertime. In our number five spot, we have Ganache Parfums Uva. If you don't know, Uva is a Spanish translation of grape. That's exactly what this fragrance smells like. It's like a literal reinterpretation of grape soda. It smells so Somebody took up red grapes and mashed them and extracted the juice perfect for this time frame. Kind of like Welch's sparkling cider, which comes out around this time frame. That's what this smells. Festive, cheery for holiday time. Coming to our number four spot. We have Mancera's Black Prestigium. Black Prestigium kind of gives me a barbershoppy gourmand. It's woody, leathery, and a little bit of powder. It smells like glass and distinction. Put you in the mind of Serge Bouton Cherki. It's a lot more sophisticated in my opinion, and it feels like a distinguished gentleman. Siage and performance on this one, bananas. Through the roof. Smells like damn fresh out the barbershop. Nice leather jacket, fresh haircut, distinction, class, elegance. Top tier, you know what I mean? Fresh to death. Coming up to our number three spot. Artists and Parfumers, Narc Skis. Mm. Narc Skis is very sultry, sweet, dark, and smoky. Mm. So sweet, marshmallowy, kind of gooey, kind of like a dessert, like yams with marshmallows on top, but just decadent. Ugh. I had to liken it to anything. It honestly reminds me of By the Fireplace by Maison Martin Margiela. However, this was a little bit more sweet, kind of like toasted marshmallows and s'mores and fire going in the fireplace, and the log cabin, and hot cocoa. Coming up to our number two spot, we have Alexandria Fragrances Upside Down. It's dropped up on a clone of Initio's Side Effect. Powerful. Two sprays max. It fills up a room. Lasts. You got no problems cutting through cold in this one. It's a gourmand. That opening is very woody to me. Mm. It's caramel, amber, vanilla. Oh my God, sexy dessert is what I get out of this one. All right, coming up to our number one spot. We got Latafa's Badi Alou, which loosely translates to Ood for Glory. This is a tone of Initio's Ood for Greatness. I've had a sample of Ood for Greatness as well as testing this one. I honestly feel like the price difference between the two, I would go with this one each and every time. They smell very similar with, of course, Ood for greatness being a lot more smooth. Ood for glory is just a little bit more rough around the edges. However, I do like this one a little bit more. Not only because of the price range, I just feel like it fits me. Fancy, eye-catching, but still a little rough around the edges, which I actually enjoy. 
So it's a rugged, woody, kind of minerally sweetness about this one that I like. The bottle feels kind of has that kind of like graphite or metallic kind of ozonic rocky scent. Didn't like it off top when I first sprayed it on me, but as it sat and dried down, ugh, we're gonna be rocking this one a lot in the winter time. That's gonna do it for our top 10 2020 winter niche and indie list. Thanks for sticking around and watching this whole video. And again, guys, let me know in the comments of this list, which is your favorite. Have you smelled any of these? And let me know what's your top 10 niche and indie list for winter 2020. Give me a thumbs up if you like this content. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart, top to sides, all the way around and underneath. So I'm out. Till next time. All right, y'all.